Hey there, welcome to another radio related video and this is another video on our series of the shortwave band 1 megahertz at a time and this is 15 megahertz what we can hear on 15 megahertz uh, 15 megahertz is a band that you'll probably tune very often because it is home to the 19 meters international broadcast band which is one of the most popular bands for shortwave radio stations especially in the daytime and evening early evening uh, you'll have lots of signal here uh, in the summer uh, you can almost tune 24 hours on 15 megahertz when the uh, solar activity is high uh, in the summertime, I've often heard singles through, all through the night. Always something there to listen to. In the winter, it's a little different. What happens is with the short days, the ionosphere doesn't support as high of uh, frequencies during the evening and night that's uh, so long. So in the daytime and the winter is mostly daytime with very early evening and then after a couple of hours after sunset usually uh, signals disappear and uh, won't come back until sunrise so uh, what is there to listen on the 15 megahertz band well you've got a little segment of utility from 15 to 15 dot 100 but it is also mixed with some uh, international broadcasters from 15100 to about 15800, even I would say 15900, it's basically pretty much the 19 meters international broadcast band with lots of stations. This is a popular band for uh, most radio stations on shortwave, so there uh, usually is pretty much uh, signals pretty much all the time and um, lots of them. It. Uh, ends at the higher end with a very small portion of utility also uh, but um, it's not one of those really popular I would say where you listen probably most to utility signals is from 15, dot, 15 to 15 dot 100 uh, lots of little things there uh, I've heard the Trenton military I've heard uh, the US military on 15016 um, I've heard lots of little signals there of all sorts uh, so it's an interesting band. So let's tune 15 megahertz, of course, with our famous WWV signal on 15 megahertz. And we'll go and tune. I'll put it in upper sideband at first in case there are any signals. And here we have a signal and radio teletype this is the Trenton military weather uh, out of Trenton Ontario in Canada Some really weak station here. This is Radio Exterior de España. This is the radio of Sultanate of Oman. This is the voice of America out of uh, Africa really this is WIFR
This is the BBC World Service out of the Ascension Islands relay station in the South Atlantic. This is the Voice of America. Voice of America. Hariri, the Madhum Hamaya Walid Jumblad, Sanzar Gi Shugaba Bashar Al Asad Nakasarichum, the Chiwa Sheik is on the Haram Bomb. Gumnitum. That every individual. WWCR from the United States. And I would say that for the last 100 uh, kilohertz. I'll put it back in USB for possible utility signals. And there you go. That was the 15 megahertz segment of the international uh, shortwave bands. Uh, so basically, most of the 15 megahertz segment is used by the 19 meters international broadcast band with a little segment of utility from 15 to 15.100 uh, that is popular because you've seen that I've had a few utility signals just in that little part of the band so uh, if you enjoy these videos click the subscribe button at the top of the screen you'll be informed of videos we put online and of course if you have any comments or questions let us know and hope you like this series of uh, megahertz by megahertz uh, tuning of shortwave and explaining what you can listen on these uh, bands. Uh, so, thanks for watching, 73s.